Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Sir Oscar. This is a very short video um, on me trying out the RT systems uh, for the FT-857D um, programmer software that will load into the uh, Yesu FT-857D. This is a very interesting piece of software. I use it for my VX6, as you can see over here in the background. I copied many of those frequencies and then put them in here. And uh, when I copied it from the VX6 um, database, the uh, 1.25 centimeter uh, data didn't copy over, which is which is smart because the Radio doesn't trans, the FT-8570 doesn't transmit to that. And then um, I did get their um, RT Systems cable, uh, the original cable that comes uh, when you buy it. It's, uh, it's, it's not inexpensive, um, but I think it's well worth having everything put together. Yes, you can probably use... Um, third-party software, which this is, but less expensive and and configure it differently. And and that's anyone's choice. I, I feel like this system works for me and I just use it. Um, I'm fortunate um, to be able to have this. Okay, so the first time I did this, I had to go over here under communications and get data and follow directions and there was no data in there. So I use this one, which I have all my data. I'm gonna press uh, communications and I don't need to set up the port. Everything felt fine. Send uh, data to radio. And it says right here, insert the CAT cable to the jack in the back of the radio. Press the mode buttons, uh, hold those, and then press the power. Verify the display is in clone mode. So let's do that. So these are the two buttons that they're saying. And you can see that they have, uh, it's very hard to say, isn't it? But they have arrows. I'm going to press those two down and then press the power button the same time and it gets into clone mode I never have used uh, clone mode before I read about it that's really neat isn't it okay the next thing it says verify the display is in clone mode which it is and then it says press the A button which is this one or I guess to receive, and this one's to send, right? Receive, this is the A button, press. Receiving, and then it says, verify that receiving display below the clone mode. Yeah, clone mode, receiving. Now what I'm gonna do, it says right here, um, click okay to start transferring the data. So I'm gonna click okay, and we're gonna watch this. All right, I'm going to click OK, and you can see this is sending data, and this is receiving that data. Wow. Now I'm going to have to learn how to use the um, uh, memory features on this. Oh, look at that. I'm using this button here and it's changing M5. So the 10th, the 10th, right? It says right at 10. I know it's a little bit hard. This is the 10th memory. And if I go here, 10th memory is the weather station WX5, right? Yep, okay. Well, that's making sense. Um, Win link. Uh, I would love to put some more um, uh, FM um, stations 
on here. I have some CB stations so I can listen to them. And now I have the police stations, if I can hear them. The jazz station. <laughs> and FR, FRS to listen to them. Right now there's no antenna hooked up to this. That's interesting, 601, 602. I'm not sure what those are. Very interesting, isn't it? Very, very easy to load and very, very easy to export. Yes, this is not the only software available, but considering the vintage, it's going to be vintage radio pretty soon. They don't sell this, this radio, the FT8570, and that RT system still supports this software is amazing. All right, I hope uh, this is informative. Um, Winter Field Day is coming up pretty soon. I hope uh, you have a great um, event, and I'll be seeing you later. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Bye-bye.